Hi guys, so the question that we're answering today is what does estrogen have to do with allergies? So I know a lot of people suffer with environmental allergies, with food allergies, asthma, and what is the connection with potentially with estrogen and these different allergies? Well, there's a lot of research to suggest that asthma, allergies, skin rashes, could even be food sensitivities, um, can all be connected to what's going on with estrogen levels. And you've heard me talk before about some of what's going on environmentally and how that's in, impacting estrogen levels. Well, it just so happens that some of the research shows how estrogen levels impact the immune system. And in turn, what we can see a lot of times is this response with um, an allergic response to different things. Another thing that I found really interesting in my practice over the years is um, I've had many people that have and maybe eaten something or been exposed to something their entire lives. And then as they get older, they start to develop more um, allergies and sensitivities to things, whether it be um, topical products or um, foods, you know, just allergies in general, maybe seasonal allergies they start to experience or asthma. And interestingly, um, there's this connection between estrogen and something called DAO enzyme. And DAO enzyme is responsible for breaking down histamine in the body. And there's a direct connection between DAO enzyme and estrogen levels. And so when that DAO enzyme is not present to be able to break some of that down, that histamine down, that's where we get some of that allergic response as well. So another really important reason to make sure that those estrogen levels are in balance. You can have you know, no problems when they're too high or too low. Either way, it could be problematic. So we just wanna make sure that they are in the right ranges and there's some amazing support that you can look at when we know exactly what those levels are and why they are what they are. Going back to looking at upstream sources um, that are influencing, whether it be toxicity, um, chemical, emotional, physical stressors, many different things that can really impact those estrogen levels. But there is a unbelievable connection to them and allergies, <clears throat> asthma, skid rashes, all of those things. So if you've been struggling or suffering with any of those things, please feel free to reach out. I've got some really great information for you and there's some really great testing that we can do to kind of see where you are with all of that. So hope that was some helpful information for you. If it was, please like and share this video. Health and happiness. Have a super fantastic day. Thanks so much.